Hello and welcome and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a vignette effect in Photoshop. Now essentially what this is, is like a black edge around your image. Now if you google vignette effect on Google Images, you'll get load of examples then you should know what I mean. So first of all, you want to drag a picture into Photoshop. Now you can take one yourself or get one off the internet. I just got this picture of a flower off the internet so I'm just going to drag it in here like that. Now once the picture is in Photoshop you want to create a new layer. So go on layer, new and then layer and click OK. As you can see there's your layer. Now what you want to do is fill this layer to be black. So what you want to do is go on a paint bucket tool. Now by default it will show as the gradient tool but go on a gradient tool, click and hold and then click on paint bucket. As I said you want it to be black so select the colour black just like that and then just click in the centre and as you can see now this layer is black. Once the layer is black you want to create a new layer mask so down here as you can see add layer mask there we go now you want to go on the paintbrush tool as you can see now you want a fairly large paintbrush and make sure you selected the airbrush tool as you can see here now if you don't see any of these brushes then click on this arrow and click reset brushes and then uh, you know as I said select this first one here now you want a fairly large one as I did say enough to cover like nearly cover the whole image so as you can see that looks pretty good so all you have to do oops did that wrong so all you have to do is position your um, paintbrush in kind of in the center just like that and then click once and then the vignette effect should you know there it is so um, that is pretty much it to have a kind of a stronger black edge you can duplicate this layer so just right click and click duplicate and then click OK as you can see now there's kind of like a stronger like the edges are more in a bit but if it's too far in then you can set the opacity or opacity whatever it's called low a bit so just like that as you can see there it is one final thing you can do is edit the image so I'm just going to quickly edit this image with curves just like that I'll bring this down a bit make it more uh, kind of like saturated or more vibrant I'm just going to click OK and there it is so that is pretty much it um, thanks for watching and obviously more Photoshop tutorials and other random tutorials will be coming soon so please comment and subscribe and thumbs up for more of these shizer goodness